we're excited to celebrate Labor Day, our annual salute to the hardworking people who have built this country brick by brick, line of code by line of code, and lesson by lesson. Labor Day was first celebrated with one parade in 1882, recognized as a federal holiday in 1894. And now in 2023, we can look back at how much the world of work has changed and keeps changing. Brought the finger guns back too. <laughs> Holster those, they're getting a little dusty. My drink today is a truly vodka soda, peach tangerine. Let's crack this bad boy up. That's the best sound, isn't it? This is gonna have no color, so it's gonna be pretty lame, but look at that. Action! Throughout the 19th century, the American economy was all about manufacturing, mining, and agriculture. There was a time when 0.4% of GDP was spent on nails, about the same share that got spent on computers last year. Today, those industrial industries are still crucial, but we're not just a nation of steel workers and carpenters anymore. We're also programmers, healthcare workers, and educators. Mm, looks like champagne, doesn't it? The requirements for jobs have also changed. Back in 1882, very few jobs had any kind of education requirement, and only 2.5% of 17-year-olds graduated from high school. Now more than 90% of Americans have a high school education and nearly 40% have a college degree. At its peak a few years ago, over half of all job postings required a college degree. But even here, we know the landscape continues to shift and that share has dipped down closer to 40%. Skills-based hiring is on the rise as employers open the door to talent pools beyond those with a college degree. By asking for specific skills instead of degrees, employers expand their potential talent pipeline, clarify what they need, and open the door to workers that might have been overlooked. And we keep finding new solutions to engaging even more workers. A lack of childcare has a negative impact on women in the workforce. But a rise in job postings offering remote and flexible work can help meet that need. Looking at job posting data, we know that over 150 million workers have work that can be done remotely today, pointing to a more flexible and more international future of work. Yeah. A beverage that's delightfully refreshing, best served with friends. Oh. Despite these changes, the essence of Labor Day remains the same, to celebrate the contributions of hardworking people, whether you're crafting a perfect latte, writing sophisticated software, teaching the next generation, or constructing a skyscraper. Your work matters. And remember, the job market is fluid and ever evolving. The future is wide open and who knows where we'll be next year. But one thing is for sure, the best data will still help guide the best decisions. And we're here to help. From all of us at Lightcast, we wish you a happy, restful, and well-deserved Labor Day. One more thing before we go. We'll be talking about all those trends next month at the Lightcast Connect Conference, following tracks on skills, AI, and the future of work. I'll be hosting, and I'd love to see you there. Cheers.